Hey friends, it's Lizzie. Welcome back to my channel. We have a supply restock day here from Joanne, our very sweet crafty friend who uh, sends us wonderful things for the shop. If you're new and you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, my website, nevermorecreations17.com, stocks, journals, and supplies for journaling, especially junk journals, handmade journals, and things like that. And I do sell items for other crafters. I have like a consignment shop. So if you're interested in being a part of that, you can send me an email. You can find a bunch of links in the description box below that should help answer almost any question you have. So I'm going to show you what's been added to the shop. It's this large flat rate box that Joanne has sent and let's just take a peek. So we have a restock on our bags. These are our five by seven um, damask bags. I love these. They're some of my favorite. Joanne um, keeps them stocked for us. There are oh, five sets of five. I'm confused. Two, three, four, five. No, nope, there's 10. Five by seven, five sets of Oh, five sets of 15. There's 15 bags. Okay. <laughs> I read it. The paperclip was in the way. So um, there's those. Some of the things. She has a couple handmade things and then some supplies. So well, isn't that a cute dangle that she put on the bag? Isn't that beautiful? So you can reuse that. We like to make packaging that you can reuse. So what does she have here? Isn't that pretty? It's a little hands don't want to work little flip there let's see we have oh it's like made from a paper bag and so there's a few goodies in here and then a few in here so it's really cute to add as a trifold to a journal I would probably glue this part down on a page and then you kind of have you know a flip super fun and then it comes with there's a journal card as well there's that little set there cute so there's a little book page floral there botanical there and then inside there are 20 vintage botanical pages i love the patina on these these are gorgeous for adding to journals great set right there two boho envelopes each with the stressed vintage style letter sari silk and a bronze key oh my goodness isn't that gorgeous isn't that pretty so there's a vintage style later so it's printed and distressed it's not actually old but they're really fun to add for sure to a journal delight and then there's a bigger one here and then that has well i don't want to untie this but that has a letter in it too and then you get the bronze key super pretty like that gorgeous journal cards here with lace oh oh i love that it's a glassine bag that has like a little flip there's a journal card here and then there's a tag in the bag tag in the bag that is beautiful. Lots of options for that. I would probably glue that to a page. I probably would use this in a different place in the journal and I would leave the tag in the bag and there'd be wonderful little places to journal. That's sweet. Little coffee filter. This can go over a page or can be sewn in as a page. Some little goodies in there. A little CD case that's been altered. And then, of course, the journal card on the front here can be used and the bag can be reused. So lots, lots there. This is a, I believe this is a flip, like a flip book journal. 
it flips in multiple ways. It's kind of like one of those flip books that used to be really popular. Envelope flip book filled with ephemera. And so these are really fun for storing ephemera, for happy mail, or, from, or for dismantling and using in a journal. Or it could be really fun if you have a sturdy enough journal. It could be really fun to glue onto the cover of a journal and have this flip be the cover and then finish filling it with the things that you enjoy and like. Because I think that would be an amazing cover as long as it was wide enough. And then this could be the closure for the journal. So that would be fun. I love the greens and the yellows. I believe that these are Lonnie's paper dolls. So Art by Lonnie on Etsy. Um, she puts a lot of work into those paper dolls. What else do we have? It looks like maybe a, a journal. Oh, look. The little bunny. This is wallpaper, ribbon, lace. Oh, so cute. Okay, so I'm really excited about this because Joanne and I designed this kit together about a year ago. And it's called Welcome to Bunnyville. And there's two ways you can purchase the kit. You can purchase Welcome to Bunnyville on her Etsy shop, which is Junk Journal Treasures. She only has digitals over there, so you can purchase that there. Or if you want, it's a part of a larger collection called Dreamy Designs. There's 16 kits like this that Joanne and I did. And if you want the entire collection, that's on my website, nevermorecreations17.com. Uh, 60 pages. And there's a double pocket here included that's stuffed with ephemera. Isn't that adorable? This is a really cute kit. We didn't do it necessarily for Easter. It's not Easter themed. There's not like eggs and jelly beans and chicks and things. It's bunny themed and it works beautifully for an Easter journal, but it doesn't have to be Easter. It can just be for those who love bunnies. These pages are adorable. And so it's not really decorated on the inside. I mean, it's the paper's dyed, there's lace and stuff like that. But that double stuffed pocket that I showed you at the front, that's for you to decorate this any way you want. And I would probably um, use this the end of April and through May, just perfect timing, kind of like, you know, catching after Easter through springtime, even early summer. And if you wanted to, you could throw in some other woodland animals if you wanted to make it more woodland and not just bunnies, but the bunnies are adorable and the wallpaper is beautiful this is a glittered wallpaper joanne that is a sweet journal somebody's going to love that i think this is another journal look at how pretty so it says dreams and then i love the trim this is wallpaper there's trim on the bottom here in the front as well Blooms and Butterflies. So I was telling you about the Dreamy Designs collection. This is another one Joanne and I did. Blooms and Butterflies can be purchased by itself on Junk Journal Treasures over on Etsy or part of the larger Dreamy Designs collection on NevermoreCreations17.com. Um, but this is Blooms and Butterflies. It could be wedding. We didn't specifically do it wedding, but there's a few things that you can add in there that make it look wedding-ish but you could leave those out if you didn't want to be wedding. Oh, I love that pink mulberry paper added. So is this, oh, um, envelope with extra ephemera. So this, this envelope has extra ephemera and then there's little, little bits. Oh, there's that mulberry paper throughout here. This is a beautiful, I love the blues and the pinks. This is from the mega background pages in the blue color. Lonnie and I created that and when you purchase the digital over on my site, um, Lonnie gets a cut of that. So I love being able to, to do that. And when I sell something, share it with others who've put hard work in. A little bit of wallpaper cut out there. Gorgeous stencil. And this is Mega Background. It's either pink or red. Probably pink. But we have about every color you could imagine for the Mega Background pages. What is this? Ooh, cascading notebook, hand dyed paper, 32 pages. So first that's gorgeous. 
So this is a hand dyed cardstock cover and then all of the pages are hand dyed and they're cascading so you can see these gorgeous inked and torn edges. So this is this is the type of journal that I use more frequently now because I use these for, I would use this for like scripture writing when I'm doing my devotions or for to-do lists or something like that. I love being able to have interesting papers to write on. So that's Cascading Notebook. And then, ooh, look at how pretty bird study. So the way she bound this is awesome. So we have a very, very old book cover. We have a piece of fabric. We have two upholstery fabric hinges and a um, seam binding ribbon. Okay, so it is like, okay. The seam binding holds in the pamphlet stitched journal. Okay, it's called Look to the Sky. The digital kit is from her shop, so Junk Journal Treasures on Etsy. It's an open spine journal. And then there's a bookmark, which of course would have been the um, spine of that vintage book. Isn't that beautiful? So you got a bookmark. And then you have a double stuffed pocket. And then the pages. So look to the sky, I guess, is the digital kit she used. And she probably used some other things as well, but super pretty. I love birds. And so I love seeing birds in journals. There's some really pretty pages. That's a pocket. There, she said there are 88 pages. I love these colors. Look at those birds. Isn't that gorgeous? And then you could um, obviously put in another signature if you wanted to. But I love that open spine. I think this is just, it's so pretty like as home decor too. Like sitting, it'd be so pretty sitting on a little table. Joanne, that's beautiful. Okay, and we have this one. It says documented. And it's another cascading notebook. 32 pages of hand dyed paper. So we have a hand dyed cardstock cover with this cute vintage image doily. It says documented. And then the cascading pages that are also hand dyed. This is an ephemera holder with wallpaper pieces. I love ephemera holders. Okay, so this could, she has, okay, sorry, I'm not in frame very well. That's my problem. So she has that part of the pouch. This is a nice heavy wallpaper. It's really cute. This is how it expands, that, that piece of wallpaper there. And they're just wallpaper scraps, lots of wallpaper scraps in here that you can use and obviously reuse the pouch. This can fold down over it to close or it can stay open. And of course, this pouch can be reused to store ephemera or of course, as a page in a journal or something like that. And then we have some upholstery fabric. Here's a set of two neutral ones. They're, they're I think about 17 by 17 inches, something like that. Oh, I love these blues. Look at that. Oh. So these are wonderful for covering a journal and then using all the scraps in other projects. We have kind of a dusky teal color here two of those and then I love that bright one and she's paired it with this really thick uh, kind of just slight off white which would make a gorgeous cover to a journal and then she has some wallpaper so yesterday was a big wallpaper day in the shop and I knew she was sending wallpaper so you have more to choose from now which is gonna be so exciting and remember if you want wallpaper by the pound all you need to do is search, well, it's in the supplies section, but if you can't find it there or you don't want to look down through it, you can type in wallpaper pound and you have the option to buy one, two, three, or four pounds of wallpaper. The price reduces for each one. And that of course would be random. But if you don't want random and you want a specific collection, then she's got you covered. Gray Terrace. The texture on that is incredible. Oh, lots and lots of texture. These would be great pockets and journal cards. I wish you could feel everyone has like a different type texture. Like these are different from these. So there's six sheets. 
blue grass way Ooh, look at those flowers kind of like the faux grass cloth but i love those flowers look at the gold lines this is fun for die cutting neutral lane got some more faux grass Ooh, look at those leaves nice and textured tons of texture gorgeous silver greenway oh i love that look at those leaves oh that'd be a gorgeous cover got some great bright trees these are great of course to cover a journal but when you die cut out parts of this you get amazing things like think butterfly wings and stuff like that as well lots of texture floral road oh my look at those florals oh it's beautiful so all different florals Look at the, I love those white ones with the green. Got some gorgeous big leaves here. Circle lane. We've got some different neutral blues. And then, oh, I love those circles. Those would be great for cutting out, making circle pockets, circle ephemera. These are beautiful. You can see a set of journals, blue and green. Then we have Flower Hill. Lots of, ooh. And you know, it could be a cover, but I'm already seeing like fussy cut flowers and leaves out of those because they're so well-defined. They would be so pretty as that. That's what I would do with those. Wild Flower Lane. Ooh, look at the bird. Leaves. So it's got yellow and gray and tan. Swirly Way. Got lots of textures. Got some great swirls. These make great covers. And the metallic on this, oh, that would be incredible for a cover. Leaf Lane. That one's so pretty. Got some blue there. Ooh, that would be so much fun. This is my type of what I like to use for journal covers. Very thick, too. And Nature's Road. Oh, I love that one. Love that one. And in different colors. Look at that green beautiful oh i'm inspired <laughs> like want to go create i'm working on a journal right now so if you stay to the end that's everything that i'm showing you but if you want to just chat with me for a second maybe i'll flip the camera around okay <laughs> so um this is just end of the video chat if you stuck with me then yeah so i uh, i was going to work on the gray journals because i had a gray shirt that i was going to like a sweater shirt i was going to repurpose and i don't know where i put it and I'm not taking the time to dig through to find it. So I was like, I'm just going to do something else until it pops up. And I was working through a wallpaper book and I found a page that really spoke to me. And I decided to use it because it pairs so perfectly with a digital kit from Red Dot Books. If you do not follow, I believe it's Zern's Etsy, Z-U-R-N. So it's Red Dot Books on Etsy. And she works with uh, Paulette Slater with TLC creates vintage. So they kind of work together a lot, like Joanne and I work together, similar. And so, or Lonnie and I, like they promote and help each other. And I like to help them from time to time. They um, help them, I guess. I, I like to purchase their products and that helps them, but I don't create with them. Um, but we like to support each other sometimes. So Zern over at Red Dot Books, lots of words to say, a very little thing. <laughs> She has this kit called Se uh, Sepia Blues that is beautiful. And I had it saved as favorites and I knew I wanted to make a journal out of it. And it goes so perfectly. So I purchased the kit and I'm working on the journal. And it's four signatures, nine by six, a wallpaper cover. Uh, it's got, you know, like four signatures. So it's beautiful. And it's just one journal, but I think you guys are really going to like it. I hope I can finish it this weekend and have it up Monday. But recently it's just so much to do every day i'm not getting things done when i want to get them done so sometime next week it should be up at least i hope so um and since we're chatting just a reminder that the crafty challenge thrive um the crafty challenge that is april 10th which is a sunday through the 24th is still open for um registration so if you're interested in that i would love to have you register you can, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to my Facebook group. It's in the featured posts where you can send me an email, but it's pretty much two weeks of daily challenges and there's going to be, oh, so I already know what one 
of the prizes is going to be. And Yvette from the Marketplace, she's one of my suppliers. She's making an ephemera pack uh, for the winner. But of course, there'll be more than just that. But um, that'll be part of it. So I'm getting together, you know, the ideas for the prizes and stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. I believe we're up to six women registered. Possibility of that going up to eight or nine by the end of the day, because there's a couple people I'm talking with. I would be so thrilled to have 10 to 20. I understand it might just be a few of us, and that might be best for the first challenge, because I'm already kind of starting to plan um, the next challenge, which is probably going to be more like a month long. Um, and I'm probably going to have to do more with selling journals, like a challenge, kind of like a workshop. Um, but we'll see. I don't know. That one might not be till next year. Uh, I might need to put more thought into that, but I want to keep doing challenges, um, one or two challenges a month, most months, uh, kind of host them. Um, and we'll just see how it goes. But if you have an idea for a workshop or for a challenge you'd like to see me do, these are paid challenges. So you get a Facebook group where we do stuff every day um, or pretty much every day, then let me know. I'd love to hear from you. I'll see you all next week. I hope you have a wonderful weekend with lots of inspiration and lots of craftiness.